It's time to invite our keynote speaker to join us on the stage. But just before he steps up on stage to join us here, I'd like to take you through a brief about Mr. Shirish Joshi. He is the Chief Business Officer and President of Open Network for Digital Commerce, ONDC, a first of its kind initiative globally to democratize e-commerce in India by bringing micro, small and medium enterprise as well as small traders online. Shirish Joshi is an accomplished business strategy professional with over 25 years of experience in marketing, strategy, business transformation, expansion and operations. He is an IIT Kanpur and IIM Bangalore alumni. Mr. Shirish shared his career as a brand manager in Taiwan and gradually emerged as a trusted expert and executed several senior leadership portfolios in PepsiCo International, Bharti Airtel and Godrej. He has been credited with managing large-scale business operations strategy in India and China including Hong Kong, Taiwan and South Asian territories. Ladies and gentlemen, our keynote speaker for the day, Mr. Sirish Joshi. Let's welcome him with a round of applause who will take us through the topic, how ONDC will shape the future of e-commerce in India. Over to you, sir. Hey, good morning, everyone. Um, Venkat, uh, before he uh, left, he said that I will come up and, and tell how I intend to change e-commerce. Uh, so there's a little correction to that. I will do nothing. All of you are going to do it. Right? And that's the whole idea. That ONDC today, I think we are now up to about 15 employees, maybe 16. Uh, and at our peak, maybe a few months down the road, I don't think we will even touch 100. Now, if such a small team has to build e-commerce solution for every category, every product, every service possible for 1.4 billion people, it's not possible. It's only possible when the entire ecosystem participates. So that's what ONDC is. ONDC is a facilitator of what's going to be an inevitable transformation in e-commerce. Let me give you a few thought exercises. Uh, because to truly appreciate what ONDC is doing, it's so different that it's hard to explain. So let's try it with a few thought ex experiences. Right? Imagine that you have a bank account with HDFC. And imagine that I have a bank account with Access Bank. Now, in order for you to pay me money, you have to open an account in Access Bank, get an Access Bank checkbook, then send me the check, and only then you can pay me. How about that? So you can't send it from your HDFC account. You can't do NEFT. You can't do IMPS. You can't do UPI. You have to open an account in Access Bank and then be able to do it. Or we have AWS supporting this, right? Imagine you're a publisher of websites. You've created content, you've published a website. And then somebody says, how do I see you? Can I see you through Google Chrome? He says, oh, no, no, I'm not yet registered on Google Chrome. I've registered with Firefox. You have to go to Firefox to be able to see me. That doesn't happen, right? Here's another experiment. You turn on your phone, and you want to call somebody in Germany who's on Deutsche Telekom. You say, oh, I'm on a Vodafone SIM in India. I can't do that. Let me get a Deutsche Telekom SIM from Germany, put it into my phone, then I will be able to speak to that person. Doesn't happen, right? Now, that's the experience we are used to, whether we think internet, whether we think banking, whether we think telecom. What happens when it comes to e-commerce? Completely different. Both parties have to be in the same platform, otherwise nothing happens. Because of that, people have had to become specialists. So there's one place, if you were to buy household items, you go to one place. You have to book Marriott, you probably have to go to the Marriott website or a hotel aggregator. And book a flight ticket, go somewhere else. Book a train ticket, go to IRCTC. You want to buy medicine, go to get on the platform. So because there was no universal language, there was no universal way of doing things, people started building exclusive ones. So government builds its own. There are B2B uh, entities. And indeed, this entire room exists because the existing solutions are insufficient. Therefore, other people have to build other components and, and build those other solutions, except because there is no common standard, everybody is doing their own way. So that's where ONDC comes in. Two, three very, very important thoughts. First is the idea of unbundling. No one entity needs to do all parts of the business yourself. And in fact, just in the morning conversation, we were talking about just the act of creating a catalog. Forget the entire e-commerce. We're talking about just the act of creating a catalog. 
where somebody is creating the software engine, somebody else is developing the content. So even for that double click of that double click of that double click, you double click one more time and then there are two different parties. Eh? And that's how it should be. Entities who are good at something should do just that, nothing more. And like a jigsaw puzzle, all the puzzle, all the pieces come together and complete the solution. So ONDC protocol will allow unbundling, will allow entities to do exactly what they're good at, focus on that. Why is it that all the, even the biggest car makers in the world don't make their own tires? Because somebody else does it more efficiently. And so that's how commerce also should be. Why should one entity be expected to solve for all the parts, which may or may not be their expertise? And if indeed that's how the world becomes, then things start to gravitate uh, towards a few solutions only. And those few solutions, where have they led us to today? Even after two years of pandemic, e-commerce contribution to total commerce in this country is still in single digit percentage. So all the billions of dollars spent, all the fillip of people not being able to move out of their homes or, or travel and having to order, all of that still has led to a single digit. It was very, very, very low single digit. Now it is a little bit more healthy single digit, but it is still single digit. Now how does that become 20, 30, 40, 50%? It cannot be through the same models. So more models have to be allowed, and more models will only be possible when you allow the flexibility. Right? So if you weren't creating entire buildings, you were creating a bag of Lego bricks, then you're allowing people to bring together the bricks as they choose, combine them in whatever fashion they want, and to be able to complete whatever solution they want to create. So that's the essence of the ONDC idea, that we create a basic protocol. We allow any participant in e-commerce to be able to interact with any other participant in e-commerce. And now it's for all of you to decide which e-commerce train or which uh, e-commerce bus or which e-commerce car I want to build by combining together the appropriate components, completing that solution, and finding the customers who want that particular model. And somebody else will build a different model for finding a different set of customers, a different set of use cases. And somebody else will build a third and a fourth and a fifth. And there will be hundreds and maybe even thousands of models. So ONDC isn't a model, ONDC isn't an app, ONDC isn't an aggregator, ONDC is just a protocol. It's just a protocol that will allow all this to flourish. Also, ONDC is inevitable. Uh, when we began, it was an idea, it was a concept, but as we have progressed, and in fact, Bangalore was the first city where it went live, the first order got placed on 29th of April in Bangalore city. Uh, uh, some coriander got ordered and got delivered the same day. That's how it all began. So from there, we know that this is now not theory. It's not a concept. It's reality. It's now in 30 cities. It's now in four domains and growing rapidly. As soon as a few large player comes, it will suddenly scale up. And so all the words you hear, democratization, this will indeed be true democratization. A small retailer, through one of you, will be connected to the ONDC system, and we will be able to, and that person will be able to access hundreds of millions of buyers. Why? because of that democratization, because all buyers can see all sellers. So there is a revolution underway in e-commerce. You all will build it. You all will be part of it. But get to understand it fully. Uh, 10 minutes can't do it full justice. Uh, and so I invite all of you to follow us. Uh, we have really main two social media handles on LinkedIn and Twitter. And join us for our detailed briefing sessions. You will get to learn more. But it's really exciting times. India is starting an e-commerce revolution that will affect the world. Uh, Fortune has written about it very recently, about how the next transformation globally on e-commerce uh, is probably starting in India. Read that article and get to know NDC on your own. Become a part of this journey. Become a part of the revolution. You should be able to tell people 10 years down the line, I was there in 2022 and I was part of what made it happen. Thank you.